This is the interaction sync for PureCloud presentation, working with calls, transfers, and conferences. This is the second presentation discussing how to work with phone calls in interaction sync for PureCloud. I'll begin by demonstrating how to perform a blind transfer, a transfer made directly to another user without any kind of conversation ahead of time. The second type of transfer we'll learn about is the consult transfer. The consult transfer involves speaking with another user to prepare them for the transfer before performing it. And finally, we'll look at how to conference or join multiple callers together into the same call. Let's get started. We'll begin with the blind transfer. The blind transfer occurs when you send your currently connected call to another user without having a conversation with them ahead of time. These are also known as cold transfers. We begin the process by clicking here on the transfer button. And when we do that, we're presented a dialog box with some options. The best way to achieve the transfer is to begin typing the name of the person you want to transfer the call to and select from the choices that are given. Notice you are shown the current presence and status of the person you are attempting to transfer to. This way you know if the person will be ready to receive the transfer. You could also begin typing the name of the queue that you want to transfer the call to. When selecting a queue, you're given basic statistics about that queue to help you decide whether making the transfer is the best thing for the caller. If you want to limit the results of the search, you can enable or disable people or queues by selecting the buttons. Once you're ready, select transfer. Consult transfers are transfers where you speak to the person who will be receiving the transfer before the transfer is made. These are also known as warm transfers. We begin in the same way we did with the blind transfer. With a connected call, we select the transfer button and the same dialog box is presented. I will again search for the person I want to transfer the call to. Again, I can see that the person is available but this time I will select Consult, which will then place my current caller on hold while it connects me to the person I'm wanting to transfer the call to. My view of the interaction at this point has changed because I'm now potentially going to be involving another party to the call. I can clearly see that the original call is on hold as it's connecting to Matt McClellan. Now I can get Matt up to speed about the call I want to transfer to him. If I wanted to bring us all together to introduce Matt to the caller, I can press the All button and everyone would be available to hear each other. Once I'm ready to hand the caller off to Matt, I press the Transfer button again, which confirms that I want to do the handoff, and select Complete. And the transfer is made. A conference is a call that involves three or more people where everyone is brought together into the same conversation. To begin, I'll start with a call that I already have connected with an external party. I decide while on this call that I need to bring in an expert to help us understand how to take the next step. So I'm going to begin by putting this person on hold so that I can go and find the person I want to bring in. After that, I'll come up to the menu and select New Interaction. Here I'll search for the person I want to bring in and ensure they're available before placing a new call to them. Once Matt answers and agrees to be brought into the call, all I have to do is drag one of the connected calls onto the other and I'm presented a new dialog asking me if I really want to conference the calls together. When I select the conference button, I can now see a new representation of the call. And because I was the one who initiated the conference, I have full control over it. If I need to, I can bring a fourth person into the call and include them as well.